Hello, so here we are with a quick hands-on with the Motorola Defy Mini. Now the Defy range has been a very popular handset range within uh, the Motorola product family. We've had the original Defy and we've had the Defy Plus and we've also got the JCB edition and this is the new entrant, the slightly smaller 3.2 inch HVGA uh, display Define Mini. It's got the same IP67 rated protection, so it's designed to be life proof. Now, little disclaimer here, it doesn't mean it will live up to everything. It is still possible to damage it, but the things like water and dust that you may find yourself near are less likely to damage this phone than any others, so it can stand being immersed in water uh, for a short period of time. We can see evidence of this with you've got this lockable. Um, back cover on the back of the device here which you can remove and under here you've got the 1650 milliamp hour battery you've got a standard sim card slot you've got a micro sd card slot up to 32 gigabytes in capacity if we pop the back cover on again you'll be able to see that on the back we've got a three megapixel camera with led flash it's not going to blow you out of the world but this device is designed to offer portability, um, a good price and all around good performance. It's got a 600 megahertz processor on here and it's running Android 2.3. So you've got all your new usual um, sensors and what have you. You've got volume rocker keys, a dedicated camera button, you've got a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top there. And then you've also got the micro USB port on the side like so and you can see that it's got a cover um, there for protecting it from water and dust and what have you. So if you've been looking at the Defy range of devices and thinking the others are either too expensive or too big then the Defy Mini could be um, a good option for you. Now a bit difficult to do a full product tour of it here We've got other videos on the channel that demonstrate it, but you can see here we've got the usual Android um, home screens with a bit of Motorola customization. One that I want to show you is just this here. Now, I'm not sure how well you can actually see that, but that's called an activity graph. And the idea behind this is it will either, well, it's designed to be automatic, but the icons here change based on your interaction with different applications. So if you're using one application more than another, uh, the setup and the shortcuts here will change um, based on those applications that you're using. And there is the option here to do it for your contact as well. So if one week you're communicating with five people regularly, if the following week you're connecting with five different people, these shortcuts here will change and it's designed to make it easier for you to interact with those contacts. You can also have a manual setup with this sort of slightly different layout, um, but in a way that kind of defeats the, the point of the um, setup we got there. And the other one is this uh, running app that sort of comes built in as standard. So it's got GPS, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and what have you on here. And because it's kind of life proof, um, Motorola see this being aimed at people who are quite sporty and out about. So you'll be able to see there, we've got a stopwatch and we've got some shortcuts to some other features there. The idea being, you've got this, you're gonna go out on your run, you pop your headphones in, so you can listen to your radio, or you can listen to music that you have stored on the device. You can start your stopwatch for your run, but at the same time, you can scroll through and see what the weather is like. You can access your music and control it from the home panel as well. You've got your GPS location, so you can see where you're going. And then you've got your, your stopwatch again. You've also got the ability to customize this screen You've got the ability for a quick access to your camera, so you might be running along, I don't know, along the country path and you see something fantastic, you just keep running with this in your hand, you tap the camera button and away you go and you press the dedicated camera key and there you have it, your cam 
rotor has captured that shot and you carry on your running, it's picking up your GPS location the whole time and everything. So that is the Motorola Defy Mini. I have had a little sort of hands-on time in use with it. I'm quite impressed. It's not my particular favourite device, but it doesn't suit my needs uh, like it might suit yours. But all around, it's a pretty good performer. Um, it's not high-end performance. You know, some people may find the processor a little bit laggy. But if the main things you're going to do is call, text messaging, bit of web browsing, using it as a GPS location tool and for your running and your outdoor sports, then all in all, this is a very good uh, device and will live up um, to those environments a lot better than something else that doesn't have the IP67 rating.